All right, here we go. This is going to be a redo version of Jesse Velez, the 2023 edition, whatever you want to call it, as I continue to make my way back through the ones that got taken down. And I also continue to sell out <laughs> as well by doing more of these mainstream fucking predators, you know? I mean, yeah, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's you know, but, eh, whatever. <laughs> and of course, we all know how goofy and, and stupid Jesse Velez is talking a mile a minute here as he just works himself into a, a, a deep hole of, of stupid <laughs> and, <laughs> and tries to work his way out of it, too. It doesn't quite work out. And, uh, you know, um, and of course, you know, we all know the decoy that makes his, the infamous male decoy makes his, uh, grand debut here as well. So we'll, we'll take a look at that as well. And, uh, yeah, you know, that's pretty much it though. I mean, Jesse Velez, <laughs> not actually, you know, when I'm ranking my, uh, Fairfield Predators, I don't know. I don't think I rank Jesse Velez in the top half of the Fairfield Predators. Um, I don't know if that's an uncontro, uh, is a, a is an unpopular opinion, but yeah, I think I prefer like Joshua Cologne to him and some others, you know, I mean, of course the legends, Sokol and Dupe, uh, Manzi, I probably prefer more than Velez, but, uh, you know, we have his uncut, which is cool. And so, you know what, let's just get into it here. It's not as long as a Jeff Sokol, but Jeff Sokol's video was like 20 something minutes long, right? So, I mean, I'm hoping, you know, <laughs> this will be a bit quicker, but who the fuck knows? I doubt it. Let's just keep, let's just get into it. Let's go. Did I press play or is this just taking forever? It's just taking forever. That. There's his car. The legendary white, uh, Scion, I think it is. <laughs> just, he just looks, he's so awkward. Like even just walking up, he's like so awkward. I don't really get this, but it's like, so cold out. <laughs> like, I don't know, he's just not, not moving his arms enough, you know? But of course, you know, we have to just talk about this outfit, man. I mean, I get it that, you know, he's in orange shorts here to, uh, you know, match. It's festive. It's October, you know? It's, you know, you got the pumpkin here, yo, being fall festive. I get it, you know? But, uh, I mean, these shoes, the green, they don't match with anything. And then the hideous Jurassic Park uh, shirt or Jurassic World, whatever it is shirt that we see him in, of course, but, you know, I mean, just, like, so really out. awkward walking up to the door, like, ooh, 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 ooh. and there he goes, <laughs> oh, man, see, again, this house is decked out in pumpkins, man, I mean, that is a little bit overkill on the pumpkins, you got one right here, right, and then you got two more up here, I mean, like, jeez, man, you got enough pumpkins up there, and there he goes, walking in, uh-oh, <laughs> oh, chill you out. You look different. Oh man, you look different. I wonder why, Jesse. I mean, you're talking to like a, a college frat boy, frat, frat boy looking dude. <laughs> As opposed to the 12 year old or 13 year old little twinky thing that you were talking to earlier. I don't know. I haven't seen, I don't think I've seen the male decoy. Maybe I have. Actually, I think I have the decoy that they used. I know I've seen the, the, the girls that they used, pictures of the girl that they used. I don't, I remember the boy, it was like really ridiculous looking, like it looked nothing like this. Not that it would ever look like anything like this, I mean, but uh, like it was like some, it looked, it looked like a 10 year old, not even a 13 year old, unless, you know, I, I mean, I don't know. But I mean, I'm just saying like, it, it, I remember looking like, not like who would buy that? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently this motherfucker would though. Oh, chill you out. You look different. I know. Huh? And right away he's just decoy is just like trying to back away, trying to just retreat. As that? um My house is your house. As uh, you know, he just doesn't want to uh you know as he wants to just avoid this as as much as possible here. And it doesn't quite work out. You know, I I, I blame I blame uh, uh, the, the, the the group here, Tetrad Core, probably Chris Hansen as well, who was like, yeah, we, we need a good, you know, predator decoy interaction, man. That's what these things sell on. And so they are like, okay, fine, you know, and they threw this guy into the wolves. This guy isn't an actor. He's not an actor. Um, supposedly, the story is that the male uh, decoy that they wanted originally dropped out at the last minute. 
and so they had to find somebody you know quickly and this guy uh is like a uh i do i do know his full name but uh, i'm not going to say it but uh you know it's um he was like a uh What's the word I'm looking for? Like, he wanted to be a, a cop. Like, Vincent Ambrosio. I want to be a cop. I wasn't going to do anything. You know, like like that. But he actually, like, is in police, in the police business <laughs> or something like that. Now, I forgot. I haven't looked at, looked him up in a while, so I don't know, like, what his job title is now. But he's, like, he was, like, in training at this point. And then he ended up becoming, you know, like, a full-on... Not an, I, I, I don't know. It doesn't matter. He works for the police now. At least he did when I looked him up like three years ago. Okay, so it doesn't matter. But, um, you know, but they throw this guy into the wolves. He's not, he's not, uh, he's not prepared for it. He's not an actor, as you can tell. <laughs> you know, it's just, just poor planning all around. They should have just said, you know what, get the guy in the house and fucking book it, man. Fucking book it. We'll take it from here. Chris Hansen will take it from here. But you know, I have a feeling Chris Hansen was like, no, 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 we need to, we need a good interaction here. Well, you got a good interaction, but it was good for all the wrong reasons here. But yeah, I mean, you can just see he's very just trying to like avoid the situation. Wow, this is your house. Want to come in? Come in. So where do you want to go? Want a water or something? No, this is the first time I met somebody. Ooh, yeah, Jesse, first time I ever met somebody. Want a water or something? And then he makes a stupid face right here. Ooh. Oh my god, yeah. Well, first time is, you know, if it is actually true, I don't know. But, uh, you know, it's, uh... What a fucking way to start, man. You're starting off by meeting 13-year-olds. I mean... <laughs> that's not a good starting point there, Jesse. Yeah? Yeah. It's kind of nervous. Kind of nervous. I know, I am too. You want a water? Anything? Yeah, please. Where are your parents at? They went away. <laughs> they went away. <laughs> it's such a like a cryptic uh, way to put it. Like, oh, they're, they're like, like they're on vacation. They went away. It's like it's just like in the context with the empty refrigerator and the empty ass house. You know, just the context is like, oh yeah, I'm uh, I uh, you know, killed them, and uh, yeah, so they went away. Uh, they're not here right now. <laughs> But, like, look at this empty-ass fridge, man. I mean, gee, what is that? They got, like, one thing in there, and then just a bunch of water Sorry, bottles. And why are they keeping the water bottles in the drawer? That doesn't make any sense to me. Way. That's, like, where the produce is supposed to go. Sorry? Like, well, yeah, you can see he's, like, closing the door to the, like, one of the drawers. That's where the uh, produce is supposed to go. What the hell? Yeah. Yeah. Here you go. Uh-oh. 13. 13. <laughs> Can't even say it with a straight face. That's like the worst lie. Like, Jesse Belez is going to lie his ass off here. Right? We're going to see it in action. But, um, you know, that that is the worst lie of the whole, uh, <laughs> of the whole, uh, video here. Doesn't sell it very well at all. Here you go. That's what they all say, you know? That's what they all say. I guess, you know, it could have been like, you know, because I remember, like, middle school, you know, we had this, you know, there were, like, some freaks of nature who were just, like, you know, shaving three times a day, essentially, and, uh, you know, um, you know, they just looked, I mean, they looked fucking like, like men, essentially, you know, I mean, it's weird. But, you know, there, there are cases like that. And it's like, oh, well, you know, who are you judging? It could be, this could be him. You know, he could be one of them. <laughs> but, again, I don't know why people, you know. That's what they all say, you know. People say he looks like he's 40. He doesn't look like he's 40. I mean, I might have said that in the original one as well. But, uh, you know, he, he doesn't look like he's 40. He looks like a typical, you know, like 20-year-old frat boy, you know. I mean, I wouldn't be, like, he doesn't look, he doesn't look... Like he's forty. I mean, I want. I don't want to, you know, harp on the decoy here so much here. But he just looks like a normal, normal like mid twenty or younger, early twenty year old dude. Like that's what he looks like. He's got a his hairline is kind of you know already receding. But you know he doesn't look. I mean, just his facial, you know, his face and everything. He looks like he, he looks say, like a regular you know, dude. That's what they all say. You know. So where are we going? 
Boo! Just even less. Boo! I haven't thought that far ahead. I only want to fuck you. So where are we going? Going? I thought we were going to just stay here and plow. Okay, you Jurassic Park. Shout out to Jurassic Park. I've never seen it. Never read the book. Never done anything. What didn't Jurassic World come out this year as well? Like, is that why he was wearing it? He was just a big fan. Jurassic World. Yeah, it came out in th that year. So I guess he was just a big fan. He's like, oh man. I don't even know. Was it even considered good? It's got a 6.9 out of 10. But it's like, I see. This is why I can't trust anything. Like, I don't know who to trust when I when I do this shit. It's right here, first of all, right here. Oh, this is it's talking about Jurassic Park over here. Okay, well, I didn't ask for Jurassic Park. I asked for Jurassic World. I was just going to rant because it says Rotten Tomatoes 91% and then IMDb at 8.2. I was about to freak out because I'm looking at it right here. But no, it's Jurassic Park. Um, it doesn't seem like it was pretty good from what I understand. Um, got a 71 on here. I don't know. It doesn't it? Do, it doesn't matter at all. I was just curious. I was. Just, I just wanted to make sure that it came out in 2015. It did come out in 2015. Jesse Velez, big fan, apparently, you know, has to rep Steven Spielberg whenever he can. I hope he directed that movie, and I didn't just make myself sound like an idiot. But uh, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's up to you. You hungry? Yeah. Where do you want to go? Doesn't matter to me. I'm not really hungry, I just ate. I'm not really hungry, I'll just try to eat. <laughs> Fucking idiot. What an asshole, Jesse. Alright, so you guys made plans to go and get food? Or something? Like that? And then you show up to the house and you're like, Oh, I'm not hungry, I just ate. You know, what is with these predators and this thing and the fucking food, man? You have, uh, you know... You have, yeah, Je uh... Uh, oh shit. You have, uh, Jeff Sokol. Too many J's as well in this thing as well. Jesus Christ, you have Jeff, you have Joshua, you have Jesse. Ah, get them all confused sometimes. But uh, you have jo uh, uh, Jeff Sokol with the pizza. Oh, I thought it was going to be like over this wall, you know, like an asshole. And then you have jo uh, Joshua Cologne. It's like, oh, I didn't bring you anything. I didn't get to eat my dinner, so uh, I just brought it here. I'm going to eat it in front of you. And then you have this moron. Who's like, um, uh, I, I, I just said it. I can't think of it. He's, he just, he's, he was like, oh, I'm not hungry. I'm just a ate. <laughs> we made plans for, for, to go out to get food, but I just ate. I'm not really hungry. What an asshole. And then also Mike Manzi, uh, another asshole, uh, obsessed, he's obsessed with pizza. <laughs> All these predators and their damn food. There's, there's probably another one I'm not thinking of either right now. Um... Of course, there was, uh, you know, Stephen Buchanan. Yeah, he, he said as well, we could go get some food. Oh, we could go get some food. John, John Dupay with his snacks. You know, food is the theme of this thing. I got it. Um, but yeah, I mean, very obnoxious from Jesse. Like, it's like, oh, well, I know you're starving. I see that that fridge is empty. Um, you know, but you know what? I just ate, so you know what? We're going to stay here and I'm going to uh, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Asshole, Jesse. Asshole. Oh, so you want to stay here? No, not really. You don't want to stay here? What do you want to do after? Want to hang, out. hang out? Hang out? No. Hang first. out. Again, that's not a specific answer, Jesse. You know? I don't know, he just doesn't want to beat around the... He's just trying to beat around the bush. And, you know, not say, you know, Oh, well, I think, uh, you know, we'll start with some hand jobs, something like that, you know. No, no, no. But, uh, he's just trying to not say it. So he's just like, oh, hang up. That's not an, that's not an answer. That's not something specific. Chill. Yeah. Netflix, yeah, Netflix. Chill. Yeah, which show? Huh? I watched, like, TV shows, like, um, House of Cards, stuff like that. I haven't seen that. pretty good. Oh, I haven't... Uh... TV shows, like, I watch like, shows like TV uh, shows. Like no, I didn't know. It. I didn't know we were talking yeah, about TV shows. shows. Huh? I watch like TV shows, like um, House of Cards. House of Cards. I haven't seen that. Is it pretty good? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah, we can we can Netflix and chill. <laughs> it's just like we're completely dating this thing as well. Does anyone say that anymore? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have an you have an ID on, on you? Why does he ask that? It's gonna be a weird question, but you have your ID on you. I don't have an ID on me. Sorry, I'm only 13. 
My mom keeps that in her purse. <laughs> Such a bizarre line. <laughs> Such a bizarre line from the decoy there. I don't get why he said that. My mom keeps that in her purse. Like, he's just like, yeah, well, my mom has an ID and she keeps that in her purse. Like, I don't get, I, I don't get it. It's like, oh, I, I have no, I have no explanation for that. Like, I can't even come up with something to suggest why a, a possibility about why that line would have been said right Sorry, there. I'm only thirteen. My mom keeps that in her purse. I'm surprised he didn't say. I'm surprised Velez didn't say something like, "Oh, go get your school ID or pull a Thomas Moffat, get your library card." Who lives here? Who lives here? Who oh, lives here? Live here? Again, what's with all the questions? Me, my mommy, and my daddy. And that line too makes no sense whatsoever. Like no thirteen-year-old would ever say mommy and daddy. Oh, I live here. Oh, 13 year old male me, at least. Me, my mommy, and my daddy. Me, my mommy, and my daddy. Yeah, they work hard. It looks like that. Yeah. <laughs> this, you know, come look at here it goes, come time to move into distraction mode. This is this right here. This is, my dad made this. Oh, he did? Yeah. Pretty cool. Wanna come look at it? Wanna come look at it? Come look at this, come look at this, you know, <laughs> this center table here with one stool behind it. <laughs> you know, come take a look at that, you know. Come into the center, get a, get a you know, come into like the set, you know. You're, you're not, you gotta get in the shot properly, Jesse. But yeah, I mean, Jesse Blaz gets his ugly mug directly at a camera right here. And he's so fat. My God, he is so fat. Like, I, I just hate the way that he looks, man. Look at this. This right here. This is my dad made this. Oh, he did. My dad yeah. made this. Very good craftsmanship. <laughs> I wonder if that's true. Pretty cool. Want to look at it? I'll take a tour. It's nice in there. It's, I'll take a tour. Like, I don't know. Do these people who, who transcribed cool. this, it? like, just listen to it once and say, oh, I can't, I can't make it out. Oh, I'll just put fucking inaudible. It said, he's clearly saying, I'll take a tour. It looks nice in here. Pretty Watch cool. it, listen to it again. I'll take a tour. It looks nice in here. Guy, guy listened to it once and it's just like, I can't make it out. Fuck it. I'm on a deadline here. Chris Hansen doesn't pay me enough to do this. Fucking inaudible. Next. Hey, Jose. How are you? Hey, Jose, how are you? As here comes Chris Hansen. Bursting out. Almost bursting out of his, uh, his, uh, ta his uh, shirt right there. And for Chris Hansen's, one of Chris Hansen's worst interviews if not the worst interview chris hansen has ever done as we'll see he is completely i don't know if he's just completely unprepared checked out you know it's sunday afternoon final day of the sting he wants to go home you know scam some people add some more kickstarter money and uh you know uh you know do some cocaine probably and uh you know he's just he's just fucking phoned it in man at this point like, there's nothing even on that clipboard. Like, I don't think... There's, like, one piece of paper. It's probably just got, like, a few notes. Like, oh, his name is Jose. Not even his real name. His name is Jesse Jose. And people... I don't get why people... Okay, like, I understand... I understand that he calls himself Jose in the chat. I think that's what his profile was under. Jose. But, like, people who watch the, uh... The Velez Uncut, this video. And then the video about him getting robbed his store getting robbed uh you know they're like um they're like i thought his name was jose not jesse like 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 do, do some like research for like 30 seconds before you type in some nonsense shit like that you know that's all i'm saying <laughs> oh man but anyways besides the point let's just keep going what's happening yeah, like, there's one piece of paper on this clipboard here. I don't know if he just has it out to make himself look more professional, but there is, like... <laughs> compared to the other people in this thing, he comes out with, like, a huge stack of papers, and, you know, it says on the top, HVP on it. You know, it's, like, very clear about what the hell we're doing. There's just, like, one little piece of loose-leaf paper on there. It's just, like, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> He's got a phone in his hand. It's the, de uh, the, uh, the decoy phone. Yeah. Uh oh. Bum 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 bum. What was your plan today? Nothing actually. Just to hang out. Just to hang out. Yeah. 
with a 13-year-old boy. <laughs> I love you can see the decoy in the background. He's probably like, I think I said it in the first one too, but I think of it every single time I uh, watch this. <laughs> uh, him just going like, he's like, like everyone in the back is just trying to like cheer him up. You know, like, oh, you know, it's okay. It's okay. It wasn't great, but you know, it's okay. We got him in the... You kept him in the house, and that's all that matters. That really is all that matters, you know. He kept him in the house, you know. Um, which uh, some decoys didn't do, you know. Some decoys were too over the top with it, and they scared the guys away. Or the girl, yeah, the guys away. Um, you know, he at least kept him in the house and got him, you know, that stupid, my dad made this thing, worked um, to get him into the house. So it worked. But yeah, I mean, he's just like, he's like, oh man, that didn't go well. He's just going to sit down. He's just going to put his hand on his head. He's just like, oh man, I could have done so many things differently. <laughs> Who you sent a picture of your private parts. No, I didn't. No, I, I didn't. Did I did? Yes. Ugh. Ugh. I, didn't mean to, I didn't mean to do that. Was right. <laughs> and he starts, yeah. Now is when he starts talking a mile a minute here. And of course he does my famous, Ugh. Ugh. You know, I, I didn't start that because of Jesse Velez. <laughs> I didn't start doing that because of Jesse Velez, but it's like if people think I did, because it, it makes sense, you know, I, I fucking, it's a TCAP channel, you know. But uh, it's actually from something else. It's from a, uh, a uh, Civ Civilization V video I watched years ago. <laughs> and the guy, the guy who was playing the game was like, um, was talking about... Um, I forgot what it was, but it was like, the AI came at him with some bullshit message, like, oh, um, uh, escalate, it was an escalation of conflict, oh, I, you voted for the World Congress, and it's like, um, it said something like, uh, uh, your proposal is a blatant attack on our interests, I hope this does not escalate to future conflict, he read it out loud, and it goes, ew, <laughs> afterwards, like, because he was planning on nuking everybody, <laughs> so, that's what happened, and that's how I started doing that. I was doing that long before I saw Jesse Velez, so, um, yeah, but, uh, just a little backstory, uninteresting backstory about that, but, uh, yeah, it's kind of, you know, it, it's either it's a 50-50 thing, half Jesse Velez, half a Civ thing, so uh, it's alright. I, 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 I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. I was I've been just chatting with him on and off for weeks. Okay. Yeah, I used to chat with random people on and off, I'd hang out with them. No, nothing's really sexual, to be honest. Nothing sexual? No. What's Watch this? this. Let me see. <laughs> oh, here you go. Oh my god, I did not know I even sent that. Ooh. Yeah, I did not know that. Ooh. Who was right? Yeah, usually when I send a picture, like I have a bunch of pictures of me. Right. So I must have hit that, but I didn't even know why. So this was just I don't know how that, it. like, I, I'm sure it's happened, but like, you're on a dating site, right? You're on a grinder. You're, you got like three options of pic types of pictures to send, right? I mean, I, I'm sure it's happened in real life. Like, I, 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 I do know that it's happened. Like, people have said, I've seen it before, like, they send it to the wrong person or something like that. But it's like, I don't know how you pick the wrong picture. <laughs> you know, it doesn't, doesn't add up. doesn't add up. It's almost like he's lying. Yeah. I pretty that is a nice watch that Chris Hansen is wearing. I just noticed that. That's actually really watch, nice. Yeah. So you had a picture of yourself out of my town. Because <laughs> usually, like, usually I meet the car. Yeah, like, usually I meet the penis pic. Oh, oh, my mistake, I hit the penis pic. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even say, like, a bad, this is a bad interview from Hansen, but that's a great line right there. Something afterwards, but I didn't even know I really sent that, to be honest. I really, yeah, usually I meet people, I hang out with them, nothing really sexual. You know, so I don't even put like sexual things on my like I don't do know that stuff. Like I don't say, oh yeah, let's meet up and have sex. I don't really do that. I like to meet different people, hang out with them. What is Grinder for? Honestly, I know. Yeah, he likes to stuff. suck them in. No pun intended. Uh, he likes he likes to reel them in, you know, and say for like you know you know kind of test the waters a little bit. You know, say oh you know what, eh, I don't really like you. You smell weird. Do you have a weird nose? Uh, Oh, I like you though. Okay, well, now that I see you in person, you know we can hang out for a little bit and then come back to my place. You know, it's okay, like I really do know that. You know what you're doing, don't. Jesse. What with is that. Blinder for? Honestly, I know it's for hookups. I really do know that, but I don't. I'm not all for that. I don't just meet people randomly and just start having sex with random people. That's not what I do. I know it sounds weird coming from myself, but it's yeah. It's, you you reel them in first. You chat with them for weeks, as Chris Hansen just said, 
and then you send them a penis pic, and then you meet up, you come to their house, and then you meet it's up with like them. That. But isn't that what Grinder is for? No, to me it's not. It depends on people use it for their aspects. Like, I don't use it for any sexual, like, orientation or activity like that. I just meet people, eat movies, we'll go to the restaurant, hang out, eat. I just like to have company with me. I'm, like, kind of a, how do you say, um... I never really had friends when I was younger, right. so I like to hang out with people, you know, get to know them. I wonder to why, Jesse. A little bit, you know, that's about it. You know, I meet people from either 13, 17, 18, 30, even to their 40s. Just so he just admitted, like, he, oh, I met, I meet people who are 13 before. He essentially just admitted that, like, oh, his his age range is 13, starts at 13. A little bit. It's not even like he could talk his way. He's not even going to try to, you know, he knows that he's 13, he knows what he's doing. And he's just like... He can't really talk himself out of that now because he's like, oh, I, he make, I meet people who are 13. Yeah, about it. You know, I meet people from either 13, 17, 18, 30, even to their 40s, just to meet people and talk to them. Yeah. I get like to know their story. I ask them about their life. You know, where do they grow up? Where do they go to school? I ask them all these, we play 20 questions, essentially. And then, you know, I, we, I, we shake hands and we go on our separate ways. What are you? I'm actually 27. 27. 27. Not yes. true. At the time of this video, at the time of this confrontation, Valeza just turned 28. <laughs> From the actual segment there, the the uh, the, the uh, Crime Watch Daily segment. Not true. Valeza just turned 28. You know, trying to, like, indict him. Jesus Christ, hang him. He got his age wrong. He had just turned 28 and he forgot. It's like, when you get to that age and I'm there right now, like, I'm turning 20, I, like, I have to think about it. Like, at this point, I'm like, I think, <laughs> I think I'm 25, I don't know, 26, it takes me, it takes me like a minute to think about it, and, uh, you know, it's like, once you're, uh, you know, past a certain age, it just doesn't matter anymore, it doesn't mean anything, so we don't think about it very often, you know, um, <laughs> I do the Jeff State. I can do the Jeff Stacy now, for a little bit while longer, you know, I think I'm 25, 25. I think. You think? How old are you? I think I'm 25! Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna miss doing that. <laughs> because I think I said it once before as well, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do when I turn 26 in terms of TCAP ages. Right, I had, the tw I had one for 22 with Jerry Griffith, Adriana, I'm Adriana years old, 23, 20, 23 I believe, 24 with Shinster, me, I'm 24, and then 25 has been the Jeff Stacy. I don't know what to do when I turn 26 now. I, I think that's the end. I think it just basically means you're done. And, uh, you know, give up. <laughs> Me, I'm actually a manager for a restaurant. Which restaurant? Uh, Jersey Mike's. Jersey Mike's. Yes. And how's that going? It's going good. I actually just started there uh, about a week, well, a couple weeks ago. Right. Yes. So he just started working at Jersey Mike's. <laughs> um, you know, he's... Uh, Wasted their time. He's, you know, he's bounced around. You know, he he had that uh, the, the cell phone store, of course, and he was a manager at a Wendy's. Apparently, is what people have told me. And uh, then he was a Jersey Mike's manager. Why is he bouncing around so much? Like, why did you leave Wendy's for Jersey Mike's? I don't get that. Uh, better pay, better benefits. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, he just completely wasted their time. Now they're gonna have to restart the process again to look for another manager. Fucking hell, Jesse Velez. You put a lot of people into a bind by this, you know? And they're just like, you know, it's like looking for a, like a manager has to be like a like a pretty demanding position to fill, right? A lot of time, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, you know, resources go into that. And, you know, it's like, oh, man, we finally hired some idiot, Jesse Velez. It's fine. I, you know, I'll just pretend I, you know, if someone asks me who hired him, I'll just say it was somebody else. And, you know, just send them on their way. And, you know, but then, oh, man, his motherfucker got arrested for doing what? Oh, well, I guess I have to fire him. And then restart the whole search again. Yep, do the whole thing again. Really put a lot of people into a jam there, Jesse. I mean, I don't know if Jesse Flores is just like, oh, hi. Like, oh, yeah, man, I'm ruling the world here with my manager position at Jersey Mike's. I'm going to go rape some kids. But you see how this looks for you to come over and visit know, the 13-year-old yeah. boy after yeah, you I, sent him a picture of your... Yeah, I know, like, I didn't realize I sent that, and even when I came... Well, how did you not realize it? <laughs> no, I, I understand where you're coming from, but even when I came, even when I parked there, I was just like, oh, this is... Even when I sat there, I was like, yeah, this first time I did, like, met someone at someone's house, I felt kind of 
nervous when coming to a house because you just say what's me at a public place so it's more safer for me that way just in case i'm the other person but that's why even when i came i actually trying to park at that park for a while i just said i was like i should not be going to this person's house so I <laughs> and then he did yeah i did you know i don't know it's just you're too horny jesse i don't know you really wanted to meet this kid and you know hang out and you know not go out because you're not hungry so you're just going to sit there and you don't go from there. Why did you do it? Then? It's the first time for me. I never went to someone's house. Before. You know, I hear that. And it doesn't time. matter. Yeah, it's my first time. I'm sure. I'm and sure. Yeah. I doubt that all the people who tell me it's their first time are telling the truth. This is honest to death. So you're the first honest this guy is, I've ever this, found. This is the first Coming time. To visit a well, no, well, this is the first time I met a, a young person that age. It's the first time ever in history. But what ever. could you possibly have in common at 27 with a 13 year old stranger? That's something I'll find out when we sit down and chat. To be honest, I mean, there's nothing. Yeah, talking cool about you know happen. homework. Talking about homework. You know, I don't know. Oh man, yeah, I remember what I was doing. You know, pre-algebra. You know, I remember that. It was uh, fucking stupid. I hated it. Yeah, you hate it too. High five. <laughs> I don't know, Jesse. Uh, again, it, it, it never makes sense to me when these predators say that. Oh, you know, we're just hanging out and chat. Like that chat, the conversation would last less than two minutes for like a normal person. <laughs> you know, I mean, how much can you ask them about how you know how is school? That's always the first question, and then after that, what do you play sports? What are you, okay, you play uh, hockey. Okay, that's great. And do you play uh, what position? Do you play? Oh, you play uh, defenseman. Okay, that's very good. What else? Uh, okay, that's about all we have, you know. You can't really, there's no conversation there. From the get-go. After you sent him a penis picture. And I didn't, realize, I, I didn't realize I sent that. You can look at all my conversations, I did not realize I sent that. And his picture. chat is like, Hanson just harps on the damn penis pic the whole time. Like, again, he's showing how unprepared he is and why this is probably his worst interview that he's ever done. It's just because, you know, the chat is really damning. I, don't, I haven't read it in a long time, so I can't, uh, you know, pull up specifics. I can't remember all that much that specific, but I remember it was pretty graphic, you know, and Hanson's just hung up on this one thing when you could just easily, you could easily hang Jesse, tell him that, call him out, and tell him that, you know, call him out on his bullshit just by reading the chat log, but no, Hanson doesn't do that. I did not realize so today that. you just, so just say, one say, big misunderstanding. Say, right? Like, for example, like, say, like, I was going to watch a movie with, you know, just, like, an ordinary conversation, like, 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 like Como. Type thing. It says Como. Like, Como. A movie with, you know, just, like, an ordinary conversation, like, like, like Como, like, Friendly type thing. It was like, I mean, like Como. He says Como. He's, his Spanish pride is uh, is seeping out a little bit there. Sexual. Even even when we're chatting, I never said, "Oh, hey, do you want to have sex?" Because that's just not the kind of person I am. I don't want to throw myself out there like that. That's not what I am. But if you were his parents, are you going to be comfortable? I have a sixteen-year-old friend. I do. Why? Yes, I do. Why do you? You know, that's the, that's the question right there. Why do you have a 16-year-old friend, Jesse? And again, 16 is a little different than 13, you know, as well. But, uh, you know, why why is it like somebody that you managed at Wendy's and or Jersey Mike's and you're like, oh, man, we became pals, you know, hey, how's it going? But still, I mean, again, it's not, it's, it's still not normal. If it's like, does, does the 16-year-old that you're friends with even know, like, do their parents even know? Like, or you get, just, you know... That doesn't answer the question either. That's a pretty big age gap. It is. It is big, but, at this state. But you know what? But there's nothing wrong with that because to be honest, I have friends that are 16 to 30. We all hang out. You know, there's no drugs involved. Obviously, I don't do any drugs. <laughs> but we all just conversate. We, I mean, conversate. There's so many oh, Jesse, the word of the day, conversate. <laughs> I don't know how, like, where he came up with that. <laughs> like, he's probably just been saying that his whole life. Thinking that it's right and nobody has corrected him, and I, I, everybody's just like, "Yeah, yeah, it's kind of funny when he sounds like an idiot." <laughs> we'll just let, we'll we'll let it go. We'll we'll let we'll him keep making a fool of himself here. Similarities from other people that doesn't matter what age to me. You know, so some people got it as more like a, like a pedophile pedophile thing. thing. thing like Shout out David Schumacher. What is this for y'all? For y'all pedophile thing. But that's not what I am. You know, I don't go around looking for you know ten year old, thirteen year olds. No, that's not. You do I'm. though. You went fucking looking for one. You chatted with yeah. one. You idiot. That's not exactly. But you I see am. how this looks. Yeah, I definitely understand that. That's why I don't walk through that door. A twenty seven year old sends a penis yeah. picture to I a know. thirteen year old, yeah. and then comes over to. Just hang out. Yeah, I know how it looks. And I wasn't. I wasn't even. Really, something told me don't walk through that door. I swear, something told me do not. Well, why'd walk through you that do door. it? Then? I don't know. I wasn't gonna walk through that door. I really wasn't. I, was, I don't know. Even when I saw him, I looked down. I was like, 
this, this doesn't fit. I mean, I hang out with people outside of their home because I wouldn't want myself to be in someone's home that I really don't know. I never meet someone at their home. That's why I, I felt weird. Even, I, I so this is that. just one big misunderstanding. This is the, biggest, the first time you've This is the biggest ever walked in someone's house, to be honest. Because at my house, I don't have to come to my house. Well, I, I, I can because I have a big patio outside and I have my neighbors. Jesse, slow down, dude. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Slow it down, man. You are just yap, 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 yap. My God, and this is—it's like—it's great because Hanson doesn't have anything to say, so it does work out, I guess, a little bit. Hanson doesn't have much to say, and this guy can't shut up. So, you know, it kind of evens out a little bit. You have this guy who's just gonna keep yap, yap, yapping and sound like a fucking imbecile, and Hanson's just gonna sit there. Hey, yeah, as long as you want to talk, go for it, man. Because at my house, I don't come to my house. Well, I'm, I I can't because I have a big patio outside, and I have my neighbors that come outside with me. So I would feel safe because I'm not by myself with that person. So these people seeing with this person, but me coming here, like I parked at that that park right there. Right. I, and I, he I said he said this like three times, Jesse. Shut up. Like five minutes, and I I, I parked at the park because. I was gonna make a U-turn just go because I don't like coming to people's houses because there was one time where one of our friends was at his friend's house and you know it, it didn't really go as they were gonna say you know when he walked in it was actually an ambush it was two older guys an ambush man oh man like XCOM 2 style man <laughs> oh man I've been playing more XCOM lately um, I fucking love it. nothing like getting a, a perfect ambush you know you know you set up your your concealed boom fire off a shot everyone hits their overwatch shots boom you can take out like a whole group in one go it's great i love it but yeah i mean this guy calls it an ambush man oh man like it's nom or something man gonna say you know when he walked in it was actually an ambush it was two <laughs> older guys and a woman they beat him up you know it was like i guess people that they're looking for is a setup yeah, well, not like this. Like, <laughs> it was a setup. Be... Not like this. Oh, man. Like, yeah, you got set up. You got fucking played, Jesse. Somebody up. So that's why I don't come to people's house. I'd rather meet at a sandwich shop, at a Starbucks, just so we can sit down, conversate. Conversate. It's nothing really sexual or ordinary. Do you live by yourself? No, I live with my three dogs. <laughs> three dogs. Yeah. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> what an idiot. Oh, my God. Why do you have three dogs as well? Is that really necessary? Uh, to have three dogs, it's gotta be a, it's gotta be a mess in that house apartment. I'm assuming it's like a condo apartment, something like that. You know, gotta be dog hair all over the place, shit all over the place. I don't know, man. I you know I can't imagine having three dogs. That's gotta be ordinary. That's gotta do be you awful. Live by yourself? Like, why do you say that? And what happened? Like, he, he, no, I live with my three dogs. And he is engaged. He has a fiance at this point in time. He's got the fucking ring on. But they're separated. Um, like, you could have at least taken the ring off. You know, I don't know. They're done. Yeah, yeah, thanks, yeah. Here in Fairfield. Yeah. I, like it, I like in the HVP, the uh, the Crime Watch Daily, so they make him sound like such an idiot. I mean, he is. He does sound like such an idiot when he says that, but they make him sound like an even bigger buffoon. He's just like... <laughs> with, like, the sound effects and the background music. They make him sound like, from what I remember, I haven't seen that in a while, but they make him sound like a bigger idiot than he yeah, actually I is. Yeah, by Taco Loco. By Taco, Taco Loco. Yes. Okay. I think I looked it up the last time as well. Might as well keep it up with the uh, tra tra tradition. Taco Loco, Fairfield CT. Since we looked up Planet Pizza, let's see what happens, uh, you know, with what's different with, uh, with Taco Loco uh, in the three, almost four years since we've done this. Tacos for Tatas. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so it's like a truck. They don't have a store anymore, or what? Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I remember looking at a menu at one point. But then maybe they don't have a... Tr maybe the times is tough. The store went out. I don't know. Oh, yeah, here it is. HamletHub.com. Taco Loco to close after 40 years. But the food truck rolls on. Oh, that's a shame. Um, yeah. Do they don't say anything? Um, yep, yeah, that sucks. Rest in peace, Taco Loco. But I guess the food trucks are still there. It is pouring outside right now as well. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, but yeah, that's a shame. 
but, you know, whatever. I'm not really too broken up about it, too, about a place I've never been to. Um, I, I think it's, I think it's alright. <laughs> well, uh -oh. we've been running an investigation. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Called Hanson vs. Brad. Uh-oh. Okay. And I'm Chris Hanson. Uh-oh. Okay. And you, you walked, walked into, into it. it. Ew. Oh, okay. oh, so that, if there's any smile for the camera, Jesse. Come down. on. I'm not, I'm not, um, <laughs> I'm not, um, <laughs> just, he thinks that that does something. He thinks that that accomplishes something. Like, I'm just going to put my hand up here. You know, oh, you can't see me. I can't see the camera, so you can't see me. That's how it works, right? Uh, I'm not, um, and this guy right here is Chris Hansen's son, apparently. I uh, knew that. I didn't know that w when I did this originally. But, uh, yeah, that's actually Chris Hansen, one of Chris Hansen's sons. I'm not, um, <laughs> I'll just see little kids. I'm not. That's not who I am. That's not who I am, honestly. That's not who I am. That's not who I am. Don't judge that's me on my actions. I mean, Don't judge me on this action. And look at Raw Knight, so professional. Ready to spring into action if he needs to. <laughs> He's not fucking around, man. Can you take the cameras off me, please? I can't. And again, look at this ring. Look at this, uh... Hang on, go back here. Why is this not going back? Like, look, look. Why is that ring so far up on your finger? Is it because he <clears throat> put on too much weight since the time he originally got the ring? And that doesn't, you know, he can't slide it down anymore? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty fun. It's pretty funny. <laughs> You're wearing your engagement ring. You are apparently are separated from the guy, from what I, you know, remember. And uh, you're still wearing the ring, and you're going to meet with a 13-year-old boy with the ring on. <laughs> oh, not great, Jesse. Can I leave? Can I leave? Can I leave right um, okay, this is very awkward and very embarrassing for me. Um, I'll talk to you in private if you like. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'll answer any questions for you, to be honest, because I'm not. Well, this you is, have. This is not. This is not what 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 it what it seems to be. This is not what it was going to be. So I want everyone to know that's actually seeing right now. It's not what it was. I'll just I'll have to hang out with somebody. Nothing sexual to that nature. I thought you were. I thought it was awkward and embarrassing for you, Jesse. Why are you still here? Like he thinks like, oh, I mean, I can. Uh, like the cameras only came out. And they've only been recording this whole time. They haven't been recording the whole time. Like, I, I always think that's funny when predators don't re realize that. Or you just think, oh yeah, we're just going to record the last 30 seconds, you know. <laughs> and uh, that's not exactly how it works there, Jesse. You're still screwed. And so he's just going to keep rambling and rambling here. Um, it may seem to other people it was, but to me it's not. Because um, if it was to that st if it was to that standard, I would have actually texted the guy, hey, let's meet and let's do this, let's do that. But it wasn't. I'm very, you know, cordial. What I say, I'm very blunt. So it, it, nothing was sexual to that, nothing sexual to that nature. <laughs> um, but to be honest, I can't remember lesson right now. I'm not going to my house. I'm what? I'm not walking to no one's house ever again. <laughs> this is the first and last time we're doing that. What's the lesson here, Jose? The, lesson, the here lesson here is. Uh, uh oh. Don't walk into no one's house and you know who actually even lives there. That's, that's to be honest. Don't do the same thing to other people that you don't want them to do. You know, <laughs> what a dumb fuck, you know. Don't walk into... The, that, that's the lesson. Don't walk into no one's house. And if you don't even know who even lives there. Not don't chat with 13-year-olds. No, not to not send them penis pictures. Right? That's the lesson there. Great advice there, Jesse. Great lesson. You know, it's like, I love it, I love it too, at the end, he comes, he comes back with the don't do the same thing to other people that you wouldn't want done to you, the classic, you know, fairy tale lesson, the, the Aesop fable, I don't know, I don't know if that's right, but you know, the, 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 the thing you get drilled into in like kindergarten, you know, don't do the same thing, treat others the way you want to be treated, you know, the same thing that you learned in kindergarten, that's the lesson, Jose, and apparently you didn't learn it. You didn't learn it <laughs> well enough, I guess. But yeah. <clears throat> Jesse Velez, man. What a clown. I'll say again. This is the first and last time we're doing that. What's the lesson here? <laughs> the lesson here is uh, don't walk into no one's house so you don't know who actually even lives right, there. Right, because you know, there might be a camera crew there ready to call you a pedophile. That's to be honest. Don't do the same thing to other people that you wouldn't want them to do. <laughs> You know, would you, you want to come to my house? He says, I never allow people to come to my house. 
that's the thing. I never lost. You know, it's, it's okay because I'm not even ashamed to do this. <laughs> um, don't let people. <laughs> I'm not even ashamed to do this. Oh, Jesse, Jesse, you think like that? That you think that you're helping yourself, but you're not. <laughs> you think that saying you know you think that the people are going to be on your side after your little spiel there. <laughs> You don't know how Chris Hansen operates, man. He is not going to make you look good. I promise you. <laughs> it is because I'm not even ashamed to do this as he's looking straight into the camera. I'm not even ashamed. To, I, you know, I bet you. I wonder how Jesse Velez's mother felt when she saw this, man. She, you know, oh man, my son. He just keeps digging himself into a hole. He just keeps digging himself into a hole, and then and then she gets to the part where he says, "You know what? I'm not even ashamed to do this," and she's just like, "Oh." Breaking my heart, Jesse. My son. Ah, oh, what's the what's the word for son in Spanish? I'm completely blanking out. No, my son. Okay, I don't, I don't know what the fuck that is. No, no, no. That's because I got the wrong way. Son. My hijo. Me hijo. <laughs> Me uh heart. My heart. Me corazón. Me corazón. Jesse, I should have known Corazon, right, from Rolando Restacruz. I don't know why I just blanked out on it there. But, uh, yeah. Mi Corazon. Jesse. Mi hijo. Oh, man. <laughs> just, just making himself... Like, Chris Hansen doesn't even need to make you look bad, Jesse. You've done it yourself for the last ten minutes here. <laughs> you know? It's okay. I'm sorry, Jesse. Walk into your house. And then he's like, he's like, he thinks that he's, he, like, he has no fucking clue either. This is what's great. He has no clue that he's going to be arrested. He thinks he talked his way out of this successfully. You know, he's like, okay, I, I told them what they wanted to hear. I told them the lesson. You know, that they'll, they'll have the, you know, I, I, I admitted that, you know, it looks bad. It is bad. But you know what? I talked my way out of it and I can just go home. You know, that's it. Why would you go to theirs? You know, cause you don't know what to expect to, to that nature. That's why, you know, when I came out, I was bored today. Um, I didn't know what to do. So I was <laughs> to hang out with some people. How about watching? Let's just go get arrested real football. quick. I'm not a sports person, believe it or not. Don't like How sports. How about watching Netflix? I was, yeah, I was. It was just, today was just a day that- Yo, just... that is so bullshit, man. You know, boredom is ridiculous. It's a ridiculous concept to me. I mean, not to get all preachy or anything here. I'm not. But I'm just saying, like, you have- the world at your fingertip, Jesse, with that phone of yours, you can read anything you want to read. You can watch anything you ever want to watch, right? You, there, you sh there's no limit to entertainment is what I'm saying. It's like, I don't know, man. You're like, oh, man, I, I got too bored watching House of Cards. I'm going to go rape a kid. Like, it doesn't make any sense. That logic doesn't make any sense. Like How about watching Netflix? I was, yeah, I was. It was just... Today was just a day that just you know what let's just go hang out tomorrow. And then it turns and then it turned into a day of hey let's go get arrested and commit and you know get charged with felonies real quick real quick. Oh, well, you know, um, nothing sexual though. I'm not looking for that. I'm not. But again, isn't that what Grinder was no, set up? And it's just it handsome. These two guys Grindr just for. repeating you know, each other for dating, for hang off, for chill. All that could be used it for a sexual preference. You know, that's not what I'm looking for. Even on my profile, I just said, hey, let's chat. Hey, let's you chat. Know, I'm not looking for... Fair enough, you know, Jose. Fair enough. Nature. You know, it just says, let's chat. That's it. Okay. Fair yeah. enough, Jose. So, it's fair, fair enough. Fair enough. So, and there's a great smile on his face after that. It just says, let's chat. That's it. Okay. Fair yeah. enough, Jose. So... Fair enough. Fair Big smile yeah, on his face. So yes, I got away with it. I talked. Enough. I successfully talked my way out of it. Number. I got. I got a hundred persuasion and a hundred speech That's skill. That's not who I am. That's not who I am. Okay. So, I thank appreciate you. that. You're welcome, Chris. Thank, thank you for this actual experience, actually. Because uh, <laughs> thank you. It's pretty interesting. Where's the graphics? Come on. Where are the graphics? So I appreciate that. nothing bad out of this. Okay. I appreciate it. Right. Thank you very much. For thank you. Thanks I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He like oh, nods. Right oh, where's the exit? Straight straight there is no exit, Jesse. <laughs> like American Psycho, this is not an exit. <laughs> oh no, you're trapped, Jesse. Oh, where's the exit? Oh, where's right the exit? Over there. Ooh. Oh, get ready, Jesse. Like that's gotta be so random. I'm just walking into an empty garage. <laughs> what do you mean this is the exit, huh? And then ooh, surprise. Ooh. <laughs> Get fucked. Get fucked, Jesse.
Why am I under arrest? Why am I under arrest? Why? I got. He has to ask that question. And shout out to the decoys right there. Yeah, man. Take it in. This is the last one. Oh man, nervous Nelly. Great job, decoy here. Not a great job, but it's okay. Uh oh, Jesse. I like this right here. You can see him get in pain. Right here. Ah! <laughs> You're in pain, you stupid fuck. That's what you get. Oh, poor Jesse's so sad. My day's ruined. I just wanted to watch Netflix. I should just watch Netflix. Good. Good. Face the wall. Face the wall. I don't think this guy was trying to be a dick. I just think it's just the way that the accent comes out. <laughs> that, he, that it sounds like he, that's just way that's just the way the accent comes out sometimes you know you just sound permanently angry and uh you know i i don't think he was trying to be like a Good. dick face the wall face the wall and he says thank you afterwards like he's like he's like reciprocal Good. Good. face the wall there you go there you go he says there you go there you go i wonder if like jesse Velez is so stupid fucked up like <laughs> a couple of times or something and so this guy's patience is just running out or something i don't know Good. Good. Face the wall. Face the wall. You know how to do that, idiot. There you go. Um, Jesse, what's your last name? Velez. You got oh, he's everything? crying. Yeah. <laughs> Poor me. <laughs> I got caught doing something illegal. <laughs> I know, this is I'm a good guy, I swear. I'm not Let me slide him a roll of you know, toilet I'm paper. Not, I'm not here <laughs> I can't spring you. for um, tissues. I'm just trying to understand what happened today. And that's all. That's get, all we're trying. get used to that single ply toilet Two. paper there, okay. Velez. Um, you read everything thoroughly? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm tears from my eyes. Um, why, don't, why don't you tell me why you think you're here? Why you think you, this whole thing It's happened? all bullshit. Um, that's why. I was stupid enough to go on the app and chat with random people. And I met one of them, which unfortunately was underage. Unfortunately. He says met him, unfortunately. Like, he got fucking forced into chatting with him for weeks, right? He got forced into it, Jesse. Um, he, again, he's just like, trying to make himself sound so much better than he is. I fucking hate him. You know, if he, if I, if he wasn't, you know, if he wasn't even a predator, I would hate this guy in real life. No doubt about it. And that's a theme for the damn Fairfield Sting, man. Every single predator in this thing is a horrible person would be a horrible person. I would hate them, regardless if they were a predator or not. And uh, there's no likable predator in this thing. Like, there's no Michael Lebrano, for instance, with his self-deprecating humor to, you know, oh, see, like, hey, maybe if he wasn't a predator, you know, maybe I would hang out with him, you know, something like that. There isn't one. Not a single one in this thing. And that's why like, they're all just hateable as fuck. I hate them all. Absolutely hate them all. As Nothing people. such was going to happen with any, any of them that I meet today, just hangouts or whatever. And unfortunately, I went to their house, which I shouldn't have. Um, okay. And I've never done that before. Usually, I meet them at Starbucks, just so I feel safe at the same time. Um, but this time, I did it. Okay. Oh, poor Jesse. Two years. <sighs> oh, man. That's got to be, like, so... That's got to be so fucking... Like, that's got to be something, man. You know, <laughs> You, you walk, he, he wasn't very far from the Sting house, you know, his drive over was just a couple of minutes or something like that. And, uh, you know, he thinks, oh, I still have the whole, my whole life ahead of me. And then now, oh man, I'm committing, I'm getting charged with felonies. And all like a span, like less than an hour. It's great. I fucking love it. It's part of why I love this shit so much. Their life upside down in like a split second. I don't know how the hell this took 53 minutes, <laughs> but that's okay. Um... It doesn't matter too much, I don't think. Um, okay. So, I think that's it. I don't really have anything else to say. I think that's it. I think that'll do it. So, hope you guys did enjoy. And until next time, see you guys later.